Hello there, welcome to another video of SwiftCat. In this video, I'm going to make a simple navigation view macOS application with SwiftGL language. This is my fourth episode of macOS development complete course. If you haven't watched my previous episodes, provided it's linked in my video description, check that right now. So in this video, what we are expecting is I'm going to make a simple navigation view macOS application. And this is going to be a left bar. And uh, when the user clicks, it goes to the particular page somewhat like. So let's start doing it. So I'm going to open my Xcode. So I'm going to create a new project, uh, Xcode project. Let's click Create. And here we have options to uh, check. So I'm going to select here macOS application, and this is a single app. And click Next. So I can give it a name over here. So I'm going to provide nav navigation. And the language I'm going to use here Swift and the interface will be of Swift UI and click next and I'm going to save in my macOS projects folder let's create that here you have here the review At first, it takes some time uh, to build and uh, indexing all these purpose. So here, what do we have here is a content view and a simple text, which is of hello world, which is provided uh, default by Apple itself. And uh, this is the navigation content view. And from here, it goes to the window group to the content view, actually. All right. So let's move this for time being. And so let's run and check what this having at the moment it's a simple macOS app and from here we're going to make some uh, changes to, in order to make a navigation view all right first of all I'm going to write make here a struct uh, in order to make the detail page actually so let's type here struct and I'm going to name it as uh, page view and uh, this is of kind of view and then I'm going to declare two variables actually that's for the text actually so let's name it as uh, page text It's equal to just by default I'm going to make it as test and then I'm going to make war and that's going to be the color and uh, it's of color category by default I'm going to go here a black or blue somewhat black all right and then I'm going to give here a war with this for the body so this is the body with some view inside that and uh, inside I'm going to make a V stack which is for the vertical stack so it will be in the vertical way and then if I'm going to make a text inside that so that's going to be a string inside uh, let's name it as page and I'm going to give the link text actually the page text actually page text and then let's make some uh, font for this lab in text actually let's make it as a font and let's make it a title and then I'm going to give a color as well so that's going to be a foreground color and so uh, that's going to be the color inside this declaration all right so this is pretty done and then I'm going to go on, coming inside this uh, content view. Here I'm going to declare some uh, colors, uh, which is for each page. So it will be in an array, and uh, that array is going to be uh, a set of string. So let's name it as red, 
pen going to be a green and then let's say blue and uh, next going to be a yellow color and finally I'm going to go here let's say make it purple all right so so what we have done is it's a color declaration inside this and I'm going to remove this stuff from here because I want to make a list of array based on the colors and also the navigation to this uh, detail screen as well so in order to do that uh, I'm going to make a navigation view and then inside this I'm going to make a list of array and that going to be like this and uh, for each which is for one two three I have declared as one two three so let make it as like one two five which is I have a uh, five numbers here five colors as well and this is going to be the ID and dot uh, self and uh, then for each array that's what uh, is going to happen inside this so in order to do that let's make a value in and then uh, I have going to make a navigation link inside this link and uh, that's going to be the destination inside this uh, destination and uh, that destination will be we are, I'm going to pass it to the next screen so it will be like a page view and inside the page view I'm passing the link text uh, and the color so the page text actually page text and that page text will be the string of this value which I'm getting here from one two three like that This is going to be the value and the color uh, I'm going to declare the color as uh, color colors and uh, this is the color and let's make go value minus one then uh, finally I'm going to buy uh, declare a text over here as well but text uh, will be of uh, screen type and let's make it as screen and uh, the value which I'm going to pass over here this value is something like one two three okay and then this uh, text inside the text I'm going to go some font which is uh, it is going to be let's make it as a large uh, title then I'm going to build a foreground color for that as well that will be this uh, colors uh, let's make it as colors and uh, that will be of uh, value one and let's do some padding as well at the end so that's it simple this is all about so what I'm doing here is uh, I'm having a list uh, this is going to be So this is a navigation view I have here and uh, inside that I have provided the list of stuff and uh, for each like uh, 1 to 5 I have given the ID that value will be passing it's nothing but 1 2 3 4 and also the colors uh, which I'm given here as an array so for each page there will be different different colors and uh, at finally a text which is having the screen number which 1 2 3 like something and then in, when it's can navigate it it goes to here which is the page view which is having the another set of uh, text uh, which is for the page uh, particular with particular number like page text and the color as well so that's it so let's run and check this
Here we go. Simple. So this is the this is all about and uh, when I click the screen one, it's going to page one, screen two, screen three, four, five. All right, that's all in this video. Actually, it's very simple and easy for um, doing this for the first time in the Mac OS, so we can do very easily. So this is all about and uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video with the more uh, Mac OS applications. Thank you.